What's up guys, Donkey Panic here uh, with another tutorial for you. This one's on how to get proper world gen from Biomes of Plenty. First we'll start with the easy part which is the client. When you start a new world, just pick more world options and cycle this through to Biomes of Plenty. This is going to generate the Biomes of Plenty that you want. A lot of people have problems with even this step. There is a way to add them to worlds that you already have. We'll do that at the end of the video. As you can see here, we've got a beautiful Biomes of Plenty cliffside right at our world gen here. Now, to get better world gen, Biomes of Plenty by default puts a lot of oceans in. Four extra, uh, four total oceans to be precise, which can lead to 30, 40,000 block places where there's no land. So I'm going to show you how to fix that both on client and on server side. Um, let's start with the client. We're going to open up our config here, and I've included at the bottom of the screen some different ways to access your config depending on what you're in. We're going to get into the Biomes of Plenty folder inside of our configs and let's go to Biome Gen. Now once you're in here, if you go about two-thirds of the way down the page, let's get rid of that, thank you, you'll see ocean biomes to generate. These are extra oceans. Why would you do this to me? False. We're taking all these extra oceans out. We don't need that. Now for me, I'm going to take out the vanilla ocean too. So right below that, you see vanilla biomes to generate oceans. Same thing. Turn it to false. This isn't going to keep you from having water. You'll have pockets of water, but just not 20,000 block spreads of it. If you really hate water, you can go up here and configure out some like the wetland, which is going to be a boggy, marshy type of thing. There's all kinds of boggy, marshy type of things that you might not want. So just go in here and turn some of them off. That's going to give you even less water in the overworld. So I'm turning off the lush swamp. And you get the idea here. You can go through and really go through biomes of plenty with a fine tooth comb and get everything exactly how you want it. They're very good about the config. So, you can do pretty much this same thing on server side, but I promised you I'd show you how to add them to a default world, and that's what we're going to do. Maybe you've got a map you're bringing over. Um, go into Terrain Gen here, and about halfway down the page, you'll see Add Biomes to, to Default World. That's defaulted to false. Turn it to true, and when you generate new chunks, this isn't going to fix where your house is. It'll still be vanilla, but when you generate new chunks farther out, you'll start to see those biomes of plenty biomes. So now that we've done that, let's talk about doing it on the server. Through whatever FTP client you have access to your server. Um, for me, I use WinSCP. You can also use something like FileZilla or something that your host provides. You can get in to the same config area, but you're missing a big step here, and this is where a lot of servers go wrong in generating it. you got to go into your server.property file in the root directory of your server and go down to level type and for level type you're gonna put in biomes OP all caps not default not flat whatever biomes OP otherwise you won't get them at all now same thing here if you wanna fix it so that you bring over a map and start getting new areas with that terrain gen you can go into the terrain gen config and fix it up just like you did on the client side and then once you've done this you can restart your server of course for optimum results you want to do it on the initial build but if it's too late you can still get your biomes in there